So we got a call for a, I think it's an XJ that is stuck in the clay barrel out here. So back when they were building Sad Hollow Reservoir, they had to build some dams or dikes and they needed clay for that. Where we're going is the actual clay pit they dug that out of. It's got some water in it and it makes people just want to drive through it and they can't. So we're going to go see if we can get him out of there. We have got an absolute full load today. We got Tom, Jamie. We played foot mud football in that pit. Yes, we played mud football. A long football. time ago, mm -hmm. yeah. When they were, yeah, right after they dug it out. We got Caitlin back there. We got Colby. <laughs> I'm hoping that I don't fall in the mud this time. It's not fun. And we got Jonah. Yo, what's up? I'm gonna be droning today. It's 70 degrees and it's windy today. There's a little bit of a breeze. That's irritating. Super irritating. We'll get them out. I've been eyeing this every time I drive by. It's kind of near my house and it does look very tempting to drive into. I totally understand why this guy did it. Can you imagine Dick Doug in there? Well, I could get stuck really quick. This is know. super this is... sticky when it's wet. And it doesn't dry out. It'll just hold that moisture down in there for a long time. All right, we're gonna park there and run up here and see if we can find them. They're still unloading the wrecker off the back of the truck and I have no idea where this guy's gonna be. This is the mud hole right here and I don't see him anywhere on this thing. And I think I've spotted him way off in the horizon over here. It looks like a muddy XJ sitting on the side of the road. So maybe I'll head that way, see if the wrecker will follow along. Look at Tom running over there. But I can run like the wind blows. Ooh, look at that. Tom, you got the right shoes on for this? Well, they're gonna have to be. He was having a good time out here, you can tell. That's pretty stuck. I'm just gonna sit here and wait to be told where to go because I don't want to get stuck. <laughs> this looks like a good job. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna lose a shoe on this job. <laughs> I found about 10 shoes on the ground back there, so people must have come in here in the mud and lost them. Oh, now it's no. dried out and there's just shoes everywhere. No. <laughs> Look at that strap. Strap of failed efforts. All right. Look at the, it's got max tracks behind it too. I'm losing the shoes. Dude's got boots right there. Oh yeah, I'll take them. So yeah, this is the stuff dams are made out of. So we have a lot of this type of clay here. All this clay washed off from the mountains up there. Oh, here's an interesting fact you'll find really boring. So this used to be called Bench Lake and you'll see it called Bench Lake on some maps. It actually was a lake when uh, we'd get flash floods. But they have flood control ponds up there and obviously this is all farmland now. So this was a part-time lake. I'm gonna leave these. Tom, well, you got yourself some new boots? Check it out. I'm new boot goofing. New boot goofing. Yeah. What's that strap hook do? Frame underneath this side. And there's some traction boards there. Drive, and then hook to both of these front wheels. You um, want them both? I think there's nothing to hook on here except for the front axle, and we can't get to it. You got a shovel if you want me to dig. <laughs> he didn't lose this right there. <laughs> Hope those weren't your nice socks. They're brand new boots. too happy about this. The good thing now that I have mud inside my boot, so it's helping suction my boot to my foot. Like a layer of glue, huh? Yeah. yeah. Jamie, can you pull this one in? Yeah, get it started up, see if you can get it in too high. Okay, that's good. I don't know why she's so excited. 
excited about. It's just funny. Here, take my phone and my snacks. Get out of my pocket. Thanks. Okay. Oh, my. Once we get it up, then I'll probably hook one or both of these to the axle so that we can. So we don't have to drag the front wheels. I don't even know if they're going to come out with what I've done. I don't know. It might not even work. That valve stem right there? Yeah. That's a bad thing. Broken? Not yet. But we need to. Um, you're, 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 yeah, you're going to be the monitor on this thing. Okay. So if it looks like it's heading for harm's way before it gets there, stop us. Stop. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I want you spinning those back wheels, breaking traction or suction. Is that wheel spinning? Yeah. Picked up 20 pounds. <laughs> Three inches. <laughs> you take a step and slide. <laughs> oh, I hate mud. I just do. I like his angle. That should help the back wheels avoid the holes that the front wheel dug if we pull a little bit that way. Okay, go ahead and run it in, Jamie. We're ready to go, Tom. Go. Just idle, no gas. He's popping out. Jump in this thing and pull it forward. That's good. This is gonna harden into a dobie. This is a good example of why we always hook up ourselves. This is mostly cut through. Most of the strength of this is gone. So if we'd have pulled on this, we'd have had a snap, possibly some damage. Here, I'll grab one. These things are heavy. I said it once, and I'll say it again. If these traction boards got you out, you weren't really stuck in the first place. <laughs> you got a nice clean puddle there. See, they're all clean. I, just I, I don't know, and I don't want to start nothing. But I think if Utah mud was in other states, I don't think you guys would play in it because there's something different about it. There's no organic in it or something. If you were to make a make like a Southie style mud bog mud race in here, it would be swallowing. Like by the time they got it churned up, <laughs> it would swallow anything you put in here. It wouldn't be any fun and everybody would go home mad and they'd be yeah, doing it. With broken, broken stuck parts. 
Yeah. It's, it's a different, it's a different animal. Well, was it worth it? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> One of those. There you right go. There. Okay, well you should be good. Those tires are going to be horribly out of balance until you get the mud out of them. Out. So you still want to drive Dig Dug in here? Yeah. Actually, I think I could make it if I just shot straight across. Oh no, don't do it. Wait till I'm out of town. Well that wasn't too bad other than I've got some mud cleanup to do in my boot. That mud was muddy. It was clay. It was sticky. What other word could you use for it? Gooey. So we got a call for a car that is stuck in the sand up here to Colorado City, up Water Canyon. So we're going to head up here, see if we can get it out. And yes, we are in the rollback. We'll explain more later. It's a nice day today. I'm excited to go out to Water Canyon. We got Tom back there doing Tom things. Howdy. We got the banana in tow, so we'll use that to get the job out and then the rollback for the customer. I told you we'd explain it later. And we got Jake. Howdy. All right, we've reached into the road for the rollback. We're going to be unloading the banana and picking up the customer and continuing on with the mission. So the customer's waiting us at Finney Farm and Country Store, so we're going to go pick them up and then they're going to show us where they got stuck. And yeah, it'd be a little nice. I'm sitting on the seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. I know. I know. Man, this road is in rough, yeah, rough. It's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, that popped off today. You guys were going to hike and yes. you hit this sand and it just stopped you. So yeah, we kind of bottomed out there. People helped us back it out and then kind of got stuck again. The bumper popped off and I said, you know, we should call the professionals. I'm taking this under piece off and then we'll see if we what we can pop back on. Okay. We'll look at it. It's It got pulled pretty hard. I don't think them pulling you backwards is where all the damage came from. I think going forward pulled this front one off and then going backwards pulled this off. So we were gonna take this off, but we don't have the right tools to take it off. So now we're gonna zip tie it back up so it doesn't keep doing damage. This thing is loaded with Yeah, we pulled some sand out of there sand. already, but. All right, we got the Volkswagen Jamie, repair kit. Jamie, do you wanna pop that in four low and drive around in front right here? So what I'm gonna do is put a bridle on this and use the bridle to hold that up, get it out of the sand on some hard back up there where we can do it because right, right now we're kind of working in a hole so i need two soft shackles and one 30 foot rope and a hamburger and a hamburger okay jake i need you in that car okay. all right so this is just going to be a nice slow dead pull right and let's go to where we can turn around easy peasy I wish I could reach better though. So we're going we're going down there like an eighth mile, just keep the rope tight. I'm gonna watch this and make sure that nothing bad happens. This might be the worst I've ever seen it ripped off. Like a bumper? Yeah, it just at the least amount of distance. There's a chance it was damaged before this location. Alright, stop right there. Okay, back up a little Jamie. Okay. Well, that came to pieces. Already was, but I'd rather of it not. This skid plate is history. Oh, this is in danger of getting ripped out by the wheel. Okay, it's it's kind of held. Something kind of popped in. I don't see any holes. Alright, let's get these turned around. This can be put back together. That's good right there. All right. 
That's not going anywhere. So Jake is going to take them to the shop. I'm going to go take care of this one boot. Thanks for watching.